Hey everybody, welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. Today, I have a magazine to show you. I just got my Crochet World for autumn of 2023. I just got it today. So, you guys want to look at it with me? I already, I already thumbed through it a little bit, but I want to show you guys what's in here. It says, warm and wonderful cozy projects for cool nights. I actually like that I got this right as summer is beginning because right now anyways I I want to I want to make comfy cozy stuff like I don't want to make summer stuff I don't want to make tank tops or light and airy and breezy stuff I want to make comfy cozy stuff you know so this would be perfect these kinds of things would be perfect for me to make right now and then it, it, it's like getting ready for the next season. You're making it before that season comes so that when that season comes, you're prepared and you have your stuff done. So let's look and see what we have. Oh, that's cute. A cappuccino roll-up scarf. So that is what it looks like all rolled up and then that's the scarf when you're wearing it. That's kind of a cute idea. I don't like the way that handle looks right there. The handle of the cup I don't like. I think that looks kind of funky. I think it looks kind of funky. Like it's cute all rolled. So if you wanted to like make somebody somebody who really likes coffee like a decoration for their kitchen you could make that for them and then just I don't know they could use it as a decoration that's probably what I would do I wouldn't even use it as a scarf because that handle looks kind of funky right there see that looks kind of funky and I know I just kind of showed you guys a teeny tiny bit of the pattern but it'll be okay couldn't see enough to be able to make anything anyway. Um, corner to corner Tunisian rainbow plaid blankets. I think this is really cute. If I knew how to Tunisian crochet, I would totally make it. But I don't know how. And I don't really want to learn right now. Got too much going on. But that is really cute. And then there's these little, they're called Red Bud Tree Mug Rugs. I think those are cute. I really do. And now this has something in here called Jelly Yarn. It says jelly yarns made in the USA is not a yarn made from fiber. It's a 100% vinyl waterproof strand that is weatherproof and will not fade. So I guess if you want to make a basket like that, you can use this jelly yarn. The girls missed me today while I was at work. So they don't want me to be down here. I'm gonna go up and play with them as soon as I'm done down here. This Irish country basket. I think that's kind of cute. I won't make it. It's not, it's not my style, but it is cute. Oh, and I think this is cute too. I 
little towel holder. And then they have this for your toilet paper. I would make the the towel holder thing. Totally would. And then they have this foxy basket. I'm trying to show it to you guys without showing you everything. I don't think. Oh, this is cute. Hanging pocket helper. I don't think that there is a whole lot of things in this book that I would make, but I like, um, I like the baskets, I like these two, I like that organizer thing that we just looked at. Bibiana, I hope I'm saying that right, Bibiana Doily. That is really pretty. But we all know how I feel about lace weight yarn and really anything under a three. I, I don't like it. It's too tedious, too, it takes too long to work out. I like the thicker yarns. I really don't even really like threes. But I, I won't go lower than a three. Royal Touch Square. That's cute. And this one is using a lace weight yarn too. But you know what? I have a book. That is all different kinds of granny squares. And um, I could make coasters out of those granny squares if I wanted to. Which I just might do. Filigree Table Runner. Here's another lace weight project. Hold that one closer so you can see it. A little better. I can't do it, guys. Skittles is still sitting right by my side. Great outdoors throw. I think that is really cute. If I ever had time to do something like that, that is something I would definitely do. I don't know. I don't think I would necessarily do a camper. I would probably try to make a tent or something because I never stayed in any kind of camper or trailer or anything like that. We, um, when me and my family went camping, it was always in tents. Dragonfly placemat. This I like. This I want to make. And it's using a four weight yarn. So I can do that. Isn't, isn't that adorable? I don't even know if I would use it as a placemat. I don't know what I would use it for, but I want to make it. I don't know. They have this flower rug. I like the idea, but I don't like I don't like that particular, I don't like it. It looks too, I don't know, too perfect, I guess. I, I don't like it. I don't 
like that particular one. Um, Tunisian grid blanket. I really like this one too. But like I said, I don't know how to Tunisian crochet. Maybe that's something I can do after they're, both of the girls are in school. But right now, it's just not going to happen. Summer Vines Table Runner. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It... Uh, I, I know why I don't know what I feel about this one because it's not something that I can make right now it's too intricate it's too um, right now I need to make easy stuff stuff that I don't really have to think about so that's why I don't like it spice it up throw I don't like this blanket at all those are not my colors. They remind me of the 70s. Doesn't that remind you? Doesn't that look like something straight out of the 70s? The corduroy pants. All the fringe everywhere. Reminds me of the 70s. Double the spice pillows. I don't like these either. And I will tell you why. You can see through them. I don't, I either want my pillows to be solid where you can't see through them, or I would make them like that. If I did make them like that, I would put a contrast color underneath it to make it pop. You know, not white. Cause I feel like white makes it look like, whoops. That's not supposed to be like that, you know? I don't, I don't know. Um, did I skip a page? Did I skip a page? I did. Star Anise Purse. I think that's how you say it. Could be a nice. It's okay. I'm not a big purse person. And this is made with a number one anyways. A super fine. Estelita Messy Bun Hat and Cowl. It's cute. It's, it's nice for people who live in warmer climates. Like me. Or not warmer. Why did I say warmer? Colder climates. Colder climates. Um, bonfire Blanket on the cover of the magazine. I thought it was a shawl though. Apparently it's a blanket. And it is a blanket. She just had it wrapped around her shoulders. And then the fireside shawl. that the design of that is similar to my shawl my favorite shawl which I don't have down here with me right now it's um three triangles similar to that it's just not made in granny square it's only different it's not made in granny square but it is three triangles sewn together like that Cozy Night Striped Scarf and Hat. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's not my style. Tunisian Fall Sweater. Again, I can't, I don't know why there's so much Tunisian crochet in here. I don't know how to Tunisian crochet. It's a cute little sweater. But I can't do it. 
Ritzy Red Cardigan. This one isn't bad. I don't like the ruffles around the neck though. But it's not bad. I'm not a big fan of the ruffle. I keep on looking at the time because I feel like I've been down here for a really long time and I really haven't been. Harvest hoodie, which is cute and oversized. Although I'd probably make it, well, I wouldn't make it a different color. I wouldn't make it in that color. Make it in something bright. Right. Probably purple or pink or even both. And that is the end. So let me let me look back let me look over these pictures in the back and see which ones I like. I like the ones that I would actually make. I like twelve. I like 28. Oh, I like 30. I would make 32, is it? Yep, 32. That one. I want to make that one. Honestly, none of the stuff that I want to make is clothing. I already have lots of um, magazines and books with clothing in them. So, yeah, that is my book, my magazine. Even if there aren't a lot of patterns in here that I would make, I'm still so glad I, I have this magazine. I think this is going to be like one of the things that I splurge, well, don't splurge, that I spoil myself with, that I let myself have no matter what, because this makes me happy, and I, it makes me so, so happy when I have an issue in the mailbox, and I wasn't expecting it or anything, and it normally tends to come at a time when I need it, when I need just a little pick-me-up or a little boost in my mood, so, and that's what I needed today, like today, today wasn't a bad day, but this, this past week has been I think today is the first day in at least a week that I can actually say has been a pretty good day so I pray that the days keep on getting better because I'm tired tired. So, so tired. And Adeline still isn't sleeping through the night. And I don't know why. I told my husband, though, I said, we have to start, like, she doesn't, okay. We have to start weaning her off of her bottle. She doesn't really drink it during the day except for, for a nap. Hold on a minute, baby. I'm almost done, okay? Okay? Adora. I'm almost done. I'll be up there in a minute, okay? Yeah, but I love you. I love you, too. I missed you I know. I missed you while I was at work, too. I, you, I love you. I yes, I do. I My mama is in heaven. Did she, she did. You yes. She's been asking about my mom and dad a lot lately, especially my mom. Um, she asks me where my mom is. My mom has passed away. She's in heaven with all the angels. And I have been thinking about my mom and dad a lot lately, especially with Father's Day just passed. And then Mother's Day before that, last month. I've been thinking about them a lot, and I've been sad, and I've been crying. And... Um, I tell her why. I tell her it's because I miss my mommy and my daddy. 
and then she wants to know where they are so I tell her and um, yeah so now she's questioning everything about that she wants she knows that people die I'm not I don't think she fully understands what that means but I think she kind of gets it because she knows it's something to be sad about and she knows you're never coming back <clears throat> um But yeah, she's been asking me a lot of questions about my mom and dad, especially my mom. I think it's because she's close to me. So she wants to know about me and my mom. And I talk to her about my mom a lot. Things that me and my mom used to do together. Um, yeah. Back when I was a kid and things that I used to do and was allowed to do and wasn't allowed to do and yeah it's been kind of bittersweet to to be able to share her to be able to share my mom with Adora and at the same time it makes me sad it, it's, it's nice and it's sad all at the same time because I wish that she could have met my girls I wish that with all my heart. I wish both of my parents would have been able to meet them. But And everybody tells me, oh, she's there in spirit, or she met them before they were even born. Or, uh, it's not the same. Not by a long shot. So, anyway, I don't know what I was saying before she came and interrupted me. I don't remember. I don't have a clue. you guys go. I will see you next time. Bye.